Okay. One minute. All right, here's the deal. Tons of problems, and I will explain what happened on the way. It's gonna take me, it's gonna take me about 15 minutes to actually get to the park and get set up. So if you if you don't wanna if you don't wanna hang around, maybe check in a little bit later. Otherwise, I'm just gonna talk to the camera and I'll tell you exactly what happened. I was supposed to be on an hour ago. I'll tell you what happened. All right, now I have to be very careful. So, first of all, let me tell you my intentions. I'm going to do some QRP operation from a particular place that I really like. It just happens to be about 15 minutes away, and that's where we're going now. I have a new antenna that I built, and I'm going to talk to you about it, but it's basically just, a, it's cut for an eighth wave, 40 meters, so 10 meters and then I have two radios on the ground and it's based off of something I found on the internet but it's an eighth wave I'm just gonna test it and see if it works see if it tunes up on 40 meters I'm not gonna be throwing into a tree I have a tower I have a, uh, I have a tripod there's my wife hi she's a uh... so I left because my wife was taking my kid to a birthday party and it's been so long now she's on her way home all right so I have a telescoping pole on a tripod. I'm not gonna mess with trees. And here's what happened. So I'm live right now, portable. I'm getting 4,100 kilobits per second. And I'm gonna need to pull over here and check and make sure I can be heard and everything. I need to make sure I'm still live because I've been talking to the camera for 30 minutes and I wasn't live and it said I was, but I wasn't. All right, we're going to the park, and it's really hot. My air conditioner, it has uh, the fan has four settings. If I put it on one, two, three, it doesn't work. I have to have it on four for it to work. It's annoying. My wife hates this car, but it's kind of falling apart. It's a Honda Fit, so I have to have it on four for it to work, and I'm actually kind of hot. But I'm gonna pull up, pull over up here before I get on the highway, and make sure that I'm working. Make sure that everything's good. Make sure I don't run into anybody. All right. Putting my car in park. And I'm going to go back. Okay. Am I working? See, I can check on my phone to see if it's still... My wife was taking to my kid to a All right. Party. I think I'm still live. So I'm going to pretend like I am and keep going. All right. If you can see it, I have a big panel in the window there, and that is my MiFi antenna. So I have this wireless router that's connected to the phone network, the 4G LTE network, and that, it's in the bag down here, and that is an antenna. It's actually a directional antenna, but it's doing very well. If you pointed that at the, at the right tower, it would work really well, but I don't know where the tower is. Just so you know, I'm going on a I'm going to go on a 15 minute drive right now to get to the park. This particular park has a lot of benches and stuff. I actually don't live very close to any real parks. Okay, so here's what happened. I got all my live stream stuff set up. I'm not I wasn't in drive. <laughs> I got all my live stream set, stuff set up. My equipment here. I hit live stream and it says it was working. So I was talking to the camera, talking to the camera. I drive all the way to the park. It says it was working. I had a good signal too, 5,000 kilobits per second. Really good signal. So I get to the park and I check my phone and it wasn't live. Everything said it was working. I got no error. So I go home, I drive all the way back. I test it and test it. I turn it off and on and everything. I drive all the way home. And I go to the YouTube thing and it says, it says, click the button, go live. Okay, click it and it goes live. Why do I have to do that sometimes? I, I want to, I'm supposed to just hit the button here and it, it's live and that's how it's been working in the past. But I had to go all the way home and click the button because I don't have a laptop. Anyway, I'm live now and we're going to Creepcore Park 
and I really didn't mean to be live for the entire trip. I was supposed to be live for half of the trip and just start talking and then get right into it. So I really did not mean to be live right now, but once it works, you're kind of stuck, right? All right. I will be able to answer texts when I get there, but I can't do it while I'm driving. All right. We're about eight minutes, eight to ten minutes from being being at the park, and then I got to set up. So if you want to check out for a while, or if you're watching this video in in the future, you can skip ahead. That's the problem with live, man. It's so complicated. So just so you know, doing live is very difficult. Very, very difficult. The equipment itself, the internet connection, which may or may not be working right now, I don't even know because I can't look because I'm by myself. Plus, I'm filming myself and I have to not do anything really stupid because it's live. <laughs> uh, I could get in an accident right now. I could get pulled over right now. Oh boy, I'm low on gas too. Of course I am. I'm driving to the park back and forth over and over. Anyway, I hope I'm still live. I hope I am. Let me check. It says I've got 4,500 kilobits per second. So what I have is a is my my little marine bag. It's not really a marine bag. It's a it's a little uh, I don't know army type bag, and I, it's my live streaming setup. And so, I have my BioNO power battery. This car, I gotta watch this car right here, he's merging. I have it, because all of this equipment requires a lot of batteries. There's three devices, my camera, the streaming device, and the router. All of them require power. And the camera especially wants to die really fast. So I have all of that connected to the BioNO and if I suddenly just dis get disconnected, I'm sorry, this is experimental. Experimental. Please forgive me if this does not work. But we're going to do some QRP. I've got my Elecraft KX2. I've got, I've got a telescoping pole on a tripod. And I've got a random wire antenna. I am doing a lot of risky stuff. <laughs> There's a very high probability of failure. It's near 100%. <laughs> Well, I got a green light, that's a good thing. And I'm distracted driving. So I have the camera, I wish I could move it around. But I have the camera on a tripod and I have these lead weights holding it down. Uh, those are scuba diving weights. There's lead inside of them. They, you have to have weights when you go scuba diving. Can you see that antenna right here? I don't know. I need to pay attention, dude. Very distracting. I find as I get older and older, I'm actually becoming a worse driver. I'm becoming worse because I'm so complacent. I, I'm so in the just, I'm just so, everything is so automatic. You know, everything's automatic that my mind wanders. And I actually start to become more dangerous as I get older because of that. Because I'm so comfortable, you know. I'm almost, sometimes I think, man, I'm too comfortable of a driver. I'm getting too close. I'm not paying enough attention. I'm getting a little, you know, complacent. A lot complacent. It's hard for me to concentrate because I've been doing this driving for so much that it's just automatic and I get bored. All right, we're still a good eight, I don't know, five to ten minutes away, depending on traffic. I have to turn the air conditioning on a bit. Seriously, I did not mean for this video to be so long. It's just I had to start it at my house for some reason. Because YouTube live stream is weird. It's very weird. They literally have like four or five different screens you have to go to. And they're doing the, the beta. They're doing this new beta screen so everything is doubled. And there's different options. And it's totally different look and feel. So sometimes it jumps to the beta. Sometimes it's in the old classic style. It's very confusing. I don't understand live stream on YouTube because they have, you're supposed to set up like a live stream now and then they have events. I'm like, I don't want now, I just want events. But you can't, you have to do them both or something. It's very weird. 
I want to have events only because I, I know when I'm going to be live streaming. That truck was next to me. Sorry guys, I did not mean for this entire drive to be on the video, but for some reason I had to start it at my house. I've got to work that out because I'm still, the park is still over here. I like this park because it has lots of benches and it, it has uh, lots of park benches and privacy. Alright guys, I'm going to be on the air in about 20 minutes, so probably 40 meters, assuming I can tune up on my new antenna. So if you want to try and contact me, I'm going to be putting 10 watts out. Only 10 watts, KX2. If you're just joining me, I'm going to I'm doing a QRP portable live stream event. And I'm hoping that I'm still live because bringing the internet with you while you're driving is very challenging. It's very challenging. Uh, I'm at the Creepcord Lake over here where I often go. I gotta drive up this hill and then find a park bench. I gotta still get set up. I'll bring you along for all of that if you're interested. There's lots of people walking. Our, our weather was really nice yesterday and my brother who still lives in Chicago got about four inches of snow I'm not even joking he is so mad that he still lives there and I would never I will never live there again there's people jogging see it's nice and warm here it's still kind of cool crispy cool you know spring cool almost a little too chilly for a t-shirt Thirty miles an hour, I gotta be careful here. There's somebody with a canoe. It would be really cold to fall in right now, even though it seems warm out. That water would be ice cold. I also had this other problem, I was wearing polarized, polarized sunglasses. It's very annoying because if you look at any screens, like even your phone, it's it disappears. You can't see your screen. It's black. So so many times I, I would think that it was not working because I would look at it and I would think it's well it's off, but it was my sunglasses. It was my sunglasses were making the screens look like they were turned off. All right, we are headed up the hill, and I got to come back around. And over here is the park. We will be there soon. Again, I did not mean to live stream this entire drive. For some reason, I had to hit go live on the computer at home. It, it's not supposed to do that, and it's been working. Um, I gotta go, when I park, I gotta make sure that I'm still live streaming. I don't know if I am still, it could have cut out. I don't know. I should get good reception up here on this hill, though, for my MiFi. If you don't know what MiFi is, you know what a, a Wi-Fi router is, right? MiFi is, is these little devices that are like wireless routers, but you carry them with you. They're like, it's it's M-I-F-I. It, they're like uh, portable routers. And you put a, you, you order, to get internet service, you have to get a data plan and you get a little SIM card and you have to activate it and you put it inside the device and this device I have allows you allows you to connect up to 20 devices to the router. So I have 4G LTE internet access right now and up to 20 devices and we I got this a lot for my family because we're about to take a long trip. We're going to go down to Oklahoma City. We're going to go to Dallas and we're going to come all the way back. And we're going to have internet the entire way. Assuming that it's solid and it's still working. I'm at almost 5,000 kilobits per second. That's really good. Alright, bear with me while I find a place to park. This is live. All kinds of things could go wrong. I could get in a car accident. 
I don't know. I don't want to, but this is the problem with, see? My uh, weight just fell on the ground. It did that last time too. This is the second time I've been to the park. I tried to shoot this video and I went all the way home. All right. All right, there's park benches up here, but I want to park close to it. You bear with me while I get set up. I see a good spot right away. I'm just gonna go there. So there's a baseball field over there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you guys set up first with the camera, and then I'm gonna get the antenna set up. It's gonna take me a good 10 minutes to get all that done, though. Let me check and make sure I'm still, I'm still live. All right, I think I am still live. All right, give me a minute. This is gonna be hard. All right, what am I gonna do first? live streaming equipment with me first for the park bench. This wind is actually cold. Now I need to put my sweater back on. It's that temperature in between too hot and too cold. We're at a baseball park here in the park. A few people around. It's awfully windy. All right. Now I gotta go get my stuff. I just realized that it's too windy. It is too windy up here, I have to move. This is weird. Okay, I'm gonna set the bag down, move the car. This is live, man. This is what happens, you set up somewhere, it's too windy, it's cold. You won't be able to hear anything on the video. And this bag is really heavy. <laughs> People are looking at me talking to a camera. Okay. I'm gonna set you guys down and then go get my stuff again. <sighs> All right. Is this 
still working. I hope it's, I hope so, man. Gotta go get my stuff. Okay, in case you're wondering, <laughs> if this were a video, I would have cut all this stuff out. But, but it's live, so I can't do that. You're seeing the real deal, man. Warts and all, as they say. Now I gotta do another check to see if I am connected. Am I still live? Am I still alive? Sorry guys, but this is how it really works. This is how it really, you have to like set up there, there. I went down on the hill so the wind wouldn't be as strong. It's still kind of strong. Whew. All right. Am I still alive is the question. What did I drop out? Let me ask you something. You oh really, a commercial? So I'm watching myself on my phone and I'm about to set up my antenna. I just want to make sure it's still working. Ron Childress said I'm still alive, but that was a while ago. Am I alive? I don't know. Well, while this is trying to figure it out, what we have here is a very crude telescoping pole. I'm going to put my antenna, this antenna is something I threw together. So all it is is some coax with a BNC connector and I wrapped it backwards so I have to unwrap it this way. I've already got a tangled mess. Alright, here we go. So there's three wires. It's cut for an eighth wavelength at 40 meters. So 10 meters up and then I have two other wires that are the radials on the ground. Oh man. I think I'm still live. Am I? Somebody tell me if I'm live or not. My phone doesn't have an internet connection. Okay, sorry about that guys. But I could be sitting here talking to myself for all I know. I'm just going to plow ahead. All right, so I soldered this together, and this also is ex experimental. The top one is the ra is the radiating element soldered to some coax, and these two pieces uh, are the ground radials. So let's get that up in the air. Look at this tangle. See, I would have cut all this stuff out, but I can't do that.
that's up. Now I'm going to connect my radio here. Battery power, straight key, KX2, antenna. Might try some uh, sideband. So that's up. Now I'm going to connect my radio here. Alright, I think I'm still alive. Can't believe this is working. Sorry, it's a little awkward, but this is real. This is reality, man. This is real time. I've forgotten this before, don't do that. So I have my BioInno power here, Anderson power pole, a little battery will can do fine for QRP. Alright, this is a mess. And I'm plugging my power in. I gotta get those radials spread out. I'm gonna spread these radials out, I have two of them. I forgot the dimensions. Very thin wire. I'm gonna go one way, one that way, and one this way. Already tangled up. I swear it's been half my life untangling wires and charging batteries. Untangling wires and charging batteries. I might have gone with two radio, one radial instead of two. All right. I'll bring this one out this way. This is a new antenna. I've never used it before. Okay. So it's split into three. One that way, one that way, and one up. And it's 10 meters up. The reason I used that uh, telescoping pole there is because I wanted to keep it fast. Oh no, I don't have a pen. Oh, oh wait, I do have a pen. Yeah, I, I would have cut that out, that part out. This is a problem. My uh, cable is on the wrong side. All right, I'm gonna do this. Hope the wind isn't too much of a noise problem there. Here we go. I'm gonna go to 40 meters, I think. 10 watts, 40 meters. I actually don't like this notebook because it does this. It flops around too much. Okay, I always have to have a pen because I need to take notes. I don't remember call signs and stuff that well. Now if all goes well, Okay, hey, we've got power, that's a good thing. I'm going to try tuning it. Three point four. Yes. One. One over to one. All right. A lot of static, man. I'm going to go to seven. It sounds terrible, doesn't it? Lots of static on 40 meters. Seven. Seven point two two six. I should plug it in the microphone and not the key. How about that? 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 7.22... 
CQ, 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 November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ, 7.226. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ. N9YO calling CQ, CQ. N9YO calling CQ from Missouri. Is that electrical noise? It sounds terrible. There's nothing around here but maybe my battery and stuff like that over there. It sounds awful. Well, maybe it's this antenna that I made. It's probably my antenna. I'm going to try, just for the heck of it, I'm going to go to 10... 10.0. 10.116. It's quiet. 10.116 is quiet. I'm going to call CQ on 10.116. 10.116. Alright, hopefully my key is set up for this. Hopefully I can tune on 10.116. 1 out of 1. All right, 10116 guys. 10116. 1 to 1, baby. That antenna, I mean that mass right there, is way easier than messing with trees. I hear somebody. I had my volume down too low. I just heard someone when I turned my volume up. It's very quiet. Somebody's tuning up. Right. I got KE something. Sorry, I'm really distracted. KE something. I missed that number. K-E. Somebody's calling me. Seven. K-E seven EX. Patience, man. Be patient, please. Thank you. Now my key's not working. my name now I'm gonna type Missouri I'm very distracted right now I've got so much going on but I just did did the basics ke7 ex he got me
Thanks. Tom? Four? Thanks, Tom, four. Call. RST? Five, 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 nine. That's really good for this little antenna. You saw how fast it took me. Hang on. QTH? QTH? Herndon? Virginia, Herndon, Virginia. 10 watts, Missouri to Virginia. Matt. I thought he sent it back to me. Tom, N9, Y-O, okay, I'm going to close this up and keep it short because I'm really distracted, I've got wind blowing and stuff, um, I've got this blowing around, I can't see his calls. <laughs> I'm st I got people watching me. I'm still not very good at straight key. I probably don't need that challenge. Alright, bear with me. It's really hard to do, do CW and talk to people at the same time. I think I'm going to go do sideband now. Um, I was on 10116. I'm going to try 40 meters again. Thank you for that contact, by the way. Forgive me, but I'm very distracted. I've got wind blowing and this paper blowing and stuff. And I'm uh, Thanks. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm going to go up to 20 meters. Quiet. I'm on 14 megahertz. And it's rolling really slowly. I'm on 14.24, tuning up, man, this, this, in, this internal antenna, antenna tuner is really good. 14.265 14.265 Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? N9YO, is this frequency in use? I need to be in the right mode for it to work. 
Sorry, my nose is sniffling. USB. Frequency in use. Is this frequency in use? November 9, Yankee Oscar. Is this frequency in use? 14265. 14265. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar, CQ, CQ, N9YO calling CQ, CQ, anyone, anywhere, CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar in Missouri, 14265, 14265. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ, N9YO calling CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ, 14265, 14265. Somebody's tuning up. Somebody's tuning up out there. Come on, man. I tuned up faster than that. I just hit a button. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ from Missouri. CQ, CQ, 10 watts from Missouri. CQ, CQ, N9YO calling CQ, CQ, N9YO calling CQ from Missouri. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ from Missouri. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar, CQ, CQ from Missouri, CQ, CQ from Missouri, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ from Missouri. If anyone out there wants to call CQ and see if you can hear, go ahead. 14265. 14265. Call CQ and see if you can hear yourself in Missouri. Assuming I'm still live. Am I still live? Oh. All right, 14265. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ from Missouri. CQ, CQ, N9YO calling CQ, CQ from Missouri. 14265. 14265. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ, N9YO calling CQ, CQ from Missouri. This has been my experience with sideband on 10 watts. Silence. Now, granted, I haven't been calling CQ very long, but it's it's always like this. CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ, CQ from Missouri. Anyone, anywhere, CQ, CQ from Missouri. Somebody else. 14. November 7, Lima, Foxtrot. November 7, Lima, Foxtrot. You are... Four seven here, four seven. Go ahead. I heard November seven Lima Foxtrot. November seven Lima Foxtrot. Go ahead from November nine Yankee Oscar. November seven Lima Foxtrot. Go ahead. I don't think you can hear me. I did hear you though. Sorry, I could not get that. Please try again. I just barely, I just barely could hear that. I'm sorry. November 7, Lima Foxtrot, you are probably a 4-7 here. Name here is Tom in Missouri. I caught that. It's coming in and out. November 7, Lima Foxtrot. November 7, Lima Foxtrot from Tom in Missouri. November 9, Yankee Oscar. Tom in Missouri. It's worth a try. I can hear you occasionally. It was really quiet and then it went up just a little bit. Don't worry about it though. This is experimental. This I got Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. You are coming in and out, in and out. Thanks for the contact, though. Thank you very much. Uh, I assume you're watching me on, on live. I hope so. He can't hear me. And that's to be expected. But I could hear him pretty good just then, right? Okay, I'm going to say 737373. Thanks for the contact. Thank you very much. I got into Portland at least a little bit. Thank you, said Portman.
Oregon. All right, anybody else? CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling, CQ, CQ, from Missouri, CQ, CQ, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling, CQ, CQ, from Missouri, CQ, CQ, N9YO calling, CQ, CQ, from Missouri. All right, I'm going to go back to CW, okay? Uh, I don't think anyone can hear me. I, I just don't do that well. I'm going to go back to 10116, and then I'm going to make one more contact and then wrap it up. 10, 10 megahertz is quiet, man. It's really quiet. All right, here we go. 10116. 10.116. 10.116. I'm going to flip the page. The wind died down. That's good. I'd like to get in at least one more contact. Someone's calling C... Someone called CQQRP. Do you hear him? It just faded out. Okay. Seven. Hey, that was K7 again. Oh. I'm going to go up to 10117. 10117. 10117. What? I forgot the frequency in use. really quiet. I wish it had a louder volume. came in really well. just happened but I wasn't done okay thank you thanks for keeping that short I like I said I'm having that was Texas by the way ki5 wa thanks for keeping that short I have a hard time maintaining a QSO while talking to a camera and doing straight key is still challenging for me. All right, anybody else want to call me? I'm gonna do. I want to do one more at least. Go ahead and call me. Ten one one seven. Ten one one seven. Go ahead and call me. I got somebody really faint. K seven. Ten one one seven. It's weird. People are fading in and out. Ten one one seven. Ten one one seven. Go ahead and write in the comments, assuming I'm still live. I have to check all the time because the battery could run out or something. Uh, write in the comments if you can hear me. In 
Write in the comments if you can hear me. I'm going to call CQ again and then wrap it up, okay? Ten one one seven. Oops, I heard an in. Here we go. In five, in, Y. Okay, in five, in YB. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Keeping it short. N5 NYB. Fine business. RST. Five five nine. Jamie. Jamie. J A I M E. Jamie. Jamie, I got it. Texas. Texas. Fade it out. Good afternoon. Seven three. My call sign N nine Y O. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, that went well. I, I, I'm gotten even a little bit rusty. I'm especially not that good at the straight key. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end it. My wife wants to go watch that movie, the Avengers movie or whatever. I'm not really into that stuff. Uh, I'm not into fiction. I like nonfiction, as you can see. This is nonfiction. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the camera on. I'm probably going to run out of battery of some sort over there anyway. I'm going to leave the camera on, and I'm going to collapse everything down. You can watch me if you want. And collapse everything, put everything away, and then I'm going to kill the feed, okay? So, right away. Thanks thanks for joining me. Thanks for the contacts. Um, I did not keep a log. feels weird. I just turned off the radio, but it's still going. I feel like, oh, I just shut down, but I didn't. All right. So, here's what it takes to wrap. That antenna went up really well. I'm proud of it. I'm happy with it. If you want to see it again, BNC connector. Uh, so the braiding on the outside is soldered to two wires that go that way and that way. And then this is soldered to the center conductor up to the 
pole over there and it's it's worked really well. So let's I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. Now, a handy wire winder. See how easy that was? You gotta know CW, man, because otherwise I don't make a contact today. Wind up the all three together. It's probably not the best way to do it. I'm gonna get tangled up again, but that's all right. So my antenna is down. That is way easier than messing with a tree, man. The only problem is I don't like carrying that stupid tripod around. It's kind of bulky and weird. All right, so all I have left to do got the protective case for the KX2. Just pretend like that didn't happen. I don't like on the KX2 these little screws, they come loose all the time. They are not good. It's a great radio, but the screws are not good. Alright, so that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I should just keep my pen in there. Alright, that's all good. Almost everything fits here. I I can't quite get the antenna in there, though, with everything else. Maybe if I was really careful, I could. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't need to do that. Alright, that's that. Well, that's how long it took me to take everything down. The live streaming equipment, which is a bag and a battery and stuff, it weighs about 30 pounds because I have a battery in there. The live stream equipment is probably, and taking it all back to my car takes longer than what I just showed you right here. All right, guys, I hope you like that. I'm just going to end it. Thanks for joining me. I can't respond to comments right now. Maybe, maybe I will later. Uh, all right.